have new fashion tips to share with you today. It's 50 Fashion Forward time. Today we're working with a large oblong. This is a 50% silk and 50% cotton. I know many of you have these wraps that you maybe buy on vacation or you pick up the cotton ones from India that are so stunning. I'll put the dimensions in the, the notes below, but let me show you a couple of fun ways to work with a scarf. First of all, the easiest of all, is to use it as a cover. Let's just say you need to extend your evening separates on a trip or even at home and you can add this luxurious silk as a wrap and it almost feels like a kimono. So it covers you, there's not a lot of wrapping to do, you just throw it on and go. So that's the first one. If you don't want to fool with it, you want it to stay in place, get out your vintage pins, do something fun, pick up a, a piece and get a little cow drape and vintage pin. So there's some variations there that we can do. We can spend all day on this scarf. An additional way to do this, since it is so long, and we love to frame our face, remember that, we can go back, create a cowl, come back around, we can stop here. And you can see, if we do stop here, you've got a great look. You can put your pen here, you can bring one end through, as we did with our casual scarf. Remember, always bring your scarf to the center because this is where we want the attention. So bring it over to the center so you don't have scarves flying one way or the other. Additionally though, let me undo that last piece and we're going to go around again. Now if we go around again, we can tighten the back and we have a really, and you can double knot it so it won't come loose. You, you just kind of fix this so that you have a stunning wearable art fill-in silk luxury, luxurious look at the neck. So, so while we have our triangle, our large square that we have taken into a triangle, there are many other things we can do. In addition to the canal, we can create a stole. So let's say you have a silk pant and top and a jacket, but you wore the jacket last night, you don't want to wear the jacket tonight, you want a flowy evening look, all you have to do is take this scarf, half it, half it again, and triangle it. And remember our square knot, we angle up because it gives us an angle. So this knot stays above the bust and we have a beautiful stole. We can go up to one shoulder. And once again, we can use our pen. We can use our stunning square knot that goes up. You can bring in a color or a crystal that works and have a little sparkle up next to your face. So these are just some new additional ways to work with that same large oblong. Thank you for coming today, for tuning in. I'm so excited to share these tips with you. I also want to have a special thank you to Debbie Walker for commenting, Diane Harris for posting and sharing on Facebook, and of course Debbie Jo and all the, all the gals that are responding. Suzanne sent me great pictures of her bows at the neck that she's trying from another video. So uh, you don't know what that means. That's really the reason I'm doing this. So I want to hear from you guys, and I want to be sure we're focusing on the things that you're interested in most. So send me your comments. Until next time.